ஜோதிலிங்கம் ஜோதிலிங்கம் அற்புத லிங்கம் ஞானலிங்கம் நித்திய தந்த ஆனந்த லிங்கம் question when we seek what happens actually to us what i feel is like when you are continuously in the space of seeking whatever you want to achieve in your life the reality which you want to achieve in your life you will be never wanting to leave that you will always be seeking towards that and you will never fall into boredom or tiredness because when you are in seeking the it is the pure inspiration and swamji's energy which is carrying you towards what you want so what i feel is when you are in the space of seeking the whole cosmos will support you and you will never fall into any boredom or tiredness when you are seeking But see, like what we understood is now is that we're not in that continuous space of seeking because there's a part of us who doesn't want to seek, and 
like that context to seek in every action isn't there that's why we're not seeking in every action so how do we get that right context into us and continuously seek adding to his point like in the story of narada when he tells to vishnu i am your greatest devotee i am the best seeker i am the most great tapas and all tapasvi and all that then uh, vishnu brings him to one place and tells him to go get some water so when he goes and gets water for vishnu that time he sees a beautiful girl and he immediately loses his context of seeking and all that tapas and all that and he just goes and lives with the girl gets married and he becomes the leader of the whole village and all that and after some time when he has kids and all that he will one day there'll be a big uh, tsunami in that place a big flood and everybody will get drowned and that time narada he will be like struggling to save his family this and that and suddenly he'll see he'll hear a voice saying where is the water which i asked you then only narada will remember vishnu had asked him to get water and how much he has got diluted and then he gets back to his space of seeking so from this what i have understood is if you trust on the master and give the whole thing to the master even if you fall down and you don't remember who you are and you drop from the seeking master will somehow pull you up like this and make sure that you come back to the space of seeking and be in the space of shivam always but i have a question about what we discussed like we just discussed that it's just a master's game whether we should fall whether we should fall into incompletion or just continue to stand up but even then it's our decision to get incomplete and when we were small also like we were completely complete in the space of seeking then how did we even lose that space how can some small incompletion like incompletion is not just imagination so how can some small imaginary incompletion just take over your space of seeking because that's complete completion what if it is it'll be the small incompletion the mind will show it as if it's a big big thing like if the small rasagula people go out of the ashram uh, the small rasagula like that day swami told the small rasagula will come and sit in your tongue and show like a demon and it, wherever you see it'll be big big rasagulas and so please stop listen stop when you stop listening to the mind and you start listening to your heart